so that you can listen in. And attention on 32, this is the launch director performing the final poll for launch. Verif this is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over, command counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burn off igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And lift off of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Hearing good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be for the vehicle to pass through max Q at about 1 minute and 9 seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmospheric force on the rocket. traveling at 1,420 miles per hour, monitoring the flight of Artemis 1. We're now 16 miles downrange from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, traveling over 2,800 miles per hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster jettison and shortly thereafter, confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters engine we would just have an extended main engine cutoff time however we still have four good engines all at maximum thrust right now powering the first flight of Artemis at 5200 miles per hour 148 miles downrange <laughs> 